I'm gonna be honest with everybody. It's a tad embarrassing that I didn't think of this until now. You may notice the camera quality is not nearly a shit anymore. That's because I'm not using the crappy like $10 camera I got at Walmart on my laptop and I'm just using my phone's camera. Now this is just the front facing camera. I think for a long time I was like, the front facing camera won't be good enough. I'd have to use the back facing one. And there are ways to do that and like, you know, cause I'd want to use the back facing camera and then mirror it on my laptop screen to see what I'm doing. I could try to figure that out, but for now, front facing camera is way better than what I was doing, both in terms of quality and lighting. I mean, this is from the Cyrus Premium Tourna Tournament Collection opening video. Look at that. So much higher quality for that boss's orders. Okay, so today I've got a pretty crazy opening. I've had these, let's see, I pre-ordered them uh, as soon as pre-orders went up. The Paradox Rift ETBs, Pokemon Center exclusive ETBs. So this is one of those sets where they release two ETBs. We got Iron Valiant and Roaring Moon. Yeah, like I said, I pre-ordered these and then I had them shipped to my home and not to college. So then I did get them when I went home for Thanksgiving and brought them back here, but still didn't get around to opening them. So I'm really excited to open them up. I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do both because I part of the decision was like, do I just wanna open one or both? Um, because I always open at least one ETB and then I get the sleeves and I use those sleeves from that set for all the reverses in that set and potentially hollows. I've still been using silver sleeves for hollows, but since hollows are so much more common in uh, in Scarlet and Violet, I think I may need to stop using silver sleeves because they're I'm spending a lot of money on sleeves. I've probably got like $200 just worth of dragon shields at this point. Let's get into this brand new box of sleeves and let's get into these boxes. are gonna be awesome oh well now that it's cut there's no going back i have to open them both i really hope there's some good hits in both of them because i don't want to regret opening these pokemon center exclusive ones since they are worth more worth a lot more sealed than like a normal etb oh okay been a while since I opened an ETB. I've been, I've really been slowing down opening cards lately. I'm a little nervous. Okay. What should we start with? Iron Valiant or Roaring Moon? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking Roaring Moon. Iron Valiant, I really dislike most of the future Paradox Pokemon. Iron Valiant is the one really good one. And Roaring Moon is the best Paradox Pokemon out of all of them. Definitely the best ancient one, but there's plenty of other cool ancient ones too. Let's crack into this. If we, uh, there it is. If we open up this sleeve, we get a cheap little poster of all the pack artworks. It's a nice little thing when they include that. And we've got our player's guide. Um, I don't want to look at the set spoiler. I know basically all the cards in this set already from like seeing openings and playing the live, but yeah. These are just like really simple strategies you could figure out on your own and that are often lacking useful things or useful combos, okay. We may take a look at that later just to see what cool cards we didn't get. And here's the ETB. Sorry, I've got kind of an awkward angle for this camera, an awkward kind of setup here. May need to rework that in the future, but we're experimenting. We're figuring this stuff out. So what do we have in this ETV? We've got Screamtail. There we go. There's your promo. Wow. That's cool. 
we get two of these Scream Tail promos, one with the Pokemon Center stamp and one without. Yeah, this promo, this ETB promo is definitely better than the Iron Valiant ETB promo. Because that one is uh, Iron Bundle. I definitely like Scream Tail as a design much more than Iron Bundle. Although both cards do have really good art. So we can see this one has the Pokemon Center stamp right there that you can't read. Um, and then we got, ooh, disgusting energy that goes in the trash. Code card. There's the sleeves. Okay. Decent, nothing too special. There's our other promo without the Pokemon Center stamp. There's our dividers. Accessories. For some reason, all of the new ETVs have the same exact damage counter dice that really don't look very good. They're like blue and gray ones. But it, of course, also gives you this Roaring Moon colored six-sided dice. And then we have 11 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I'm going to cut to organize everything and then we'll resume. Here we go. First pack Iron Valiant. This is definitely a thicker foil one. That's been a big thing with. It's kind of inconsistent but there is nothing in Sword and Shield that had foil this thick. And then like some Scarlet and Violet packs have it and some don't. I don't know if it's the foil itself or if it's like the plastic that goes around it or something. They just don't feel the same. Not a problem at all, just something felt like pointing out. There's the energy. I don't think there's hollow energies or anything in this set like there were in 151. So nothing to really care about there. Now let's get into it. We got Whimsor, we got Flamigo, Porygon, Seedra, Screamtail. I love, I love the designs of these ancient and future Paradox Pokemon. It's like ancient, kind of like single strike rapid strike where they can have specific strategies just for that type, like ancient. And then I love how the card has like a different design and the reverses look so good when they like make this hollow. Um, I don't, yeah, because they already printed, I think it was just Great Tusk and Iron Treads and didn't do that in like Scarlet and Violet 1. So I'm, I feel like they should have waited on those because now they, they're just lacking this element. So we got Professor Seda's Vitality. Minior, we got a Reverse Joltik. Oh, what's that in the back? Whoa, Reverse Joltik and a Reverse Galvantula. That's really cool. And a Sarina EX. That is really cool because that is a good card. So Sarina EX. Now it is a stage two, so it takes time to get it on the field, but it has a one grass energy attack. Put damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon until its remaining HP is 30. And then you can play it with, uh, what is it? It's Vanillux, I think that has an ability that your Pokemon can't be damaged by the opponent's Pokemon that have HP under 40. And then there's Hisuian Braviary that says its attack does like 30 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon. So if you use Sarina to snipe a bunch of the opponent's Pokemon down to 30, then Hisuian Braviary can kill them all in one fell swoop. It's a really nice strategy. I haven't actually made a deck with it, uh, but I'm thinking about it on live. If I pull some more of these in person, I may have to make a real life deck as well. There's so many decks that I like make on live or want to make. And you know, it's pretty easy because you know, it, it just uses credits, which you either get through playing the game or you buy code cards or upload your own code cards and you can get credits by opening packs. Um, so you can make a whole bunch of different decks, but even I'm starting to run out of them just because there's so many different decks I want to make. And then the decks I really like, I'll buy like the gold cards and stuff. I'll buy the fool arts, the illustration rares, just to make them look really nice. So here we sleeved up these reverses in the set's sleeves. 
yeah, that's that's kind of why I was like not sure if I should open both ETBs because there's plenty of sleeves here to sleeve all the reverses I'm gonna pull. And like, how do I know if I sleeve them in Roaring Moon or Iron Valiant? How do I make the decision? I don't know. <laughs> if I pull any reverse ancient or future Pokemon, that'll be the answer for me. But guys like this, I have no idea what sleeve to put them in. Um, but yeah, I hate the Pokemon Center sleeves because they make the Pokemon. It's not going to show up well because of the lighting. It actually kind of does. You can see Sarina kind of looks like clearer. The Dragon Shields almost barely hide the card. They, they try to make the artwork and the shininess as clear as possible. Pokemon sleeves are really dull. They dull the artwork and just are matte and ugh. They don't look good. But as a free thing in the ETB and then I can sleeve up reverses, which are worthless anyway, but I still like to sleeve them because they've got foil on them. It's a nice thing. Next pack, Roaring Moon. Yeah, paradoxes are interesting. Most of them are just like a, a ancient or future version of one Pokemon, but then there's Roaring Moon, who is Mega Salamence, and then there's Iron Valiant, who is Gardevoir and Gallade combined. So we've got Toad's Cool, Toxel, Spinda. Just looking at its ability. Spin that does not get a lot of cards. Minior, Crocolore, Tulip, Tinkatuff, Reverse, and Wigglet with Fury Headbutt. Now, it's not the best Wigglet, unfortunately, because there is a Wigglet that's artwork, just has it like sticking out of a rock straight out, and its attack is Vibrate. <laughs> It's such a horrible design, but it's so goofy. I love it. And just a hollow. Mm, Volcanion. Nice. Tinkatuff Reverse is nice. I had a Tinkaton in like my whole Scarlet and Violet playthrough. I really like it. Wish it was a bit stronger. Tinkaton got absolutely shafted because it has a... Uh, it's 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 like it has a big hammer and its signature move is Gigaton Hammer, which has like ridiculously high power, and Tinkaton's attack is super low. If they had just given it somewhat higher attack, it could have been really good. So there's our energy. Okay, Magby, Vanillite, Oricorio, Swablu, Crocolore, Tulip. Don Dozo, Reverse Tandemouse, Reverse Nicket, and Hollow Zekrom. Wow, that's a cool looking Zekrom. Look at that. Goes kind of hard. I'm really glad we started this off with the Sarina EX hit. I'm hoping we can keep that up. Get some cool stuff. Okay. Elekid. Vanillish, yeah, that's what it's called. Onyx, Tinka, Tink, Don Dozo, Chantal, Garbador, Technical Machine Turbo Engine Reverse. Bringing TMs back is really neat in this set, and I hope they keep that up. There's some really good possibilities with TMs they can do. Magby Reverse and Hollow More Peko. But that's the thing with opening a new set like this. Even if I'm not getting any big pools, it's still really nice just to get like the commons, the reverses, the hollows, you know, just to see all the new cards and the pretty artwork. Speaking of pretty artwork though, please give me some illustration rares. Panseer, Nicket, Gligar, Bip, Blip Bug, yeah, oh, I hate that shitty thing. Chantal, Garbador, Technical Machine Evolution, Swablu River. Oh, speaking of illustration rares, Joltik Illustration Rare. Sleeping on Bolts. What's that guy called? That's Bolton's Prevo. Oh, I like Joltik and just a Zatu Hollow.
I think Joltik was the smallest Pokemon when it came out. Um, but... Is it Ribombi that's the smallest now, or it's, is it, it's Prevo? It's a nice hit. Next pack. Charcadet. Little Trubbish, Gimme Ghoul, Technical Machine Evolution, Durant. Oh, another ancient Pokemon, Slitherwing. Nice. Eveltal. And a reverse ancient booster energy capsule. Yeah, the reverses look so cool. This isn't even an ancient Pokemon, but it is an ancient card. And these booster energy capsules, the ancient and the future ones, are crazy powerful and are going to fuel a lot of ancient and future decks as we get more of those cards. And, oh, whoa, full art, oh, wow, 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 that's full art, Terra Frost Last EX. I am not the biggest fans of full arts, but I do really like Frost Last, that's nice, that, that's really nice. I didn't even realize there was a Grass Terra type Frost Last EX. Its ability is, if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent takes one fewer prize card. That's not bad, but having to flip a coin really hurts it. Because, like, they, I, they, if it, if it just said, you know, your opponent always takes one prize card, that'd be pretty reasonable. But it's like, it, they could still take two. If you're lucky, they take one. I don't think that's very good. Because its attack isn't anything memorable. Well, on to the next card. Yeah, I'd really like to get uh, some more ancient Pokemon. Maybe, like, some illustration rares of ancient Pokemon. Maybe some just reverses of, like, the common ancient Pokemon. Um, don't give me any future Pokemon. Save those for the Iron Valiant box. Give me some cool ancient stuff. Okay. Fue Coco. Hone Edge. Oh, I love Hone Edge. Wow. That's really pretty artwork. I'd love to get a reverse of that, and I might have to put that in my binder. That's nice, that's nice. Seedra, Dwebble, Durant, Slitherwing again, Ferrothorn, Gimme Ghoul, reverse, Nimble, reverse, and a Hollow Brute Bonnet. Well, that is, oh, actually, that's an ancient Pokemon, so I can show you how that looks. Yeah, so... As you know, normally hollows, new Scarlet Violet hollows, like they have the hollow border. This actually has hollow on this like ancient stuff. Yeah, you can really see that showing up. So that's really cool. We've got four packs left. So we are a bit over halfway through. There's the vibrate. Oh, look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> they are shameless. Shameless. Jirachi, Nakli, Parasol Lady, Ferrothorn, Cursed Duster, Orbeetle, Reverse Purloin, Reverse Espathra, and Hollow Deoxys. Three hits so far in this ETB. I'd really like one more. Trust me, I've had way worse ETBs. Like my uh, Brilliant Stars one. Not a good time, but that's I don't have a video of that. That was a long time ago. I am really hoping for some really good stuff. If not in this, already in this ETB, we've got good stuff. And hopefully in the next one as well. Nothing. Two packs left, come on. One more hit. Illustration rare, please. I don't need anything big, just like a lowest tier illustration rare. Just give me something. 
Porygon 2, Octillery, Golbat, Larry, love Larry, Cloth, Orthworm. If anything, they should give an Orthworm vibrate. <laughs> Absol, Reverse Porygon, Reverse Gligar, Roaring Moon EX. Okay. Okay. That is an extremely meta card, although I'm not a big fan of the strategy myself, so don't think I would make a deck around it. So yeah, Roaring Mean also, of course, has Hollow on this ancient part, but like all EXs, it has that star pattern that you can see going across its face right now. Not a fan of the star pattern. It really feels like something that is on, like, fake cards. A lot of things they've been doing lately feel like fake cards. The star pattern on all the EXs, and because the pattern goes across the whole card, it's not like across one part of it. It is the entire card, the border through the picture all the way through. And nothing else does that. Like reverses have hollow around everything except the picture. Um, so yeah, yeah, a lot of things. And like gold cards, like the gold Charizard and Obsidian Flames and a lot of new gold cards, I think in this set, just don't look real. I don't really know what they're thinking. I mean, they, they're doing like illustration rares and stuff, which are like the best looking cards we've ever had. But then they're also making cards that just look counterfeit. I don't know why. Okay, we got a Zubat. I mean, that's four hits in this ETB. So hopefully, I mean, that was, that was a good ETB. Maybe we'll get one more, but I doubt it. Nope. So yeah, that was pretty solid. Now onto the Iron Valiant ETB. I had an idea, Pokemon fans, an idea that was formed while I was taking my time to sort everything and get ready for the Iron Valiant ETB. I already cracked it open, and here's the Iron Bundle promo. As you can see, this one has the Pokemon Center stamp. Um, these are nice. I just don't like them quite as much as the Screamtail ones. So my idea was, let's have a little competition between these ETBs since we're opening two at once. Of course, we'll compare the hits, you know? Here's the four from Roaring Moon. Can we get as good or better hits from Iron Valiant? But also, uh, we'll combine from both ETVs, the ancient Pokemon in one pile in the future. Hello, hello, for you it's been an instant, but for me, an eternity, because I figured out why not to record videos on your phone, running out of storage space, and I just had a Wonderful time trying to get that rectified, but I got the video I already had uploaded to YouTube, and what I'm gonna do is just download it off of, and so I could delete it from my phone. Now I'm gonna download it off of YouTube onto my computer once I get this one uploaded to YouTube, and then I can merge the segments and then re-upload them to YouTube. Why do I even do this? No one watches these videos. I hardly even enjoy it. I, I may just need to stop making Pokemon videos, but I'm halfway through. So editing's gonna be a hell, but I'm gonna finish it. We've got the 11 packs from the Iron Valiant ETV again. Yep, there's those fellas, I already showed you those. What I was saying when I got cut off was I got all ancient, not a single future Pokemon from the Roaring Moon ETB, which is really cool. Hopefully we get a bunch of future Pokemon from these packs. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the hits from each ETB, and then I'm gonna put all the ancient Pokemon in a pile, all the future Pokemon in a pile. Which one gets more? What is truly better, ancient or future? Let's see. Okay, sorry, I'm in a hurry. Closer to the camera, how's that? Oop, reverse Gargan. Oh, 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 slash illustration rare. Oh. This is one of, if not the best illustration rares in the set. Hone Edge is one of my favorite Pokemon. I like Hone Edge more than its evolutions, but I do still love Dewblade and Aegislash. And this illustration rare is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wow. And it has, uh, I think, the same or at least a similar ability to uh, the Mimikyu. It can't be damaged by opponent's Pokemon EX or V, which is super fun when you're fighting some snotty little kid who fills their entire deck with EXs and Vs and doesn't have a single thing to hit you with. 
Oh, it's a glorious. Okay, let's, come on. Gotta get through these quickly. I have a date party to get to. Okay. Reverse Toxel, Reverse Surskit, and Iron Ju first future Pokemon of the night, and Iron Jugulus Hollow. And wait, before I put it in the crappy Pokemon sleeve, because you won't be able to see it, you can see how this the, fu the future stylization is hollow. So it just looks really cool. It's interesting because that aspect of that stylization on Ancient Future and Pokemon is hollow on both normal hollows and reverses. Interesting overlap in that regard. Okay. Let's keep moving. Yeah, noticing all of these packs, I could be hallucinating, but they all seem to have that thicker foil. Excuse me. Oh, it's a new trainer, Luxurious Cape. If the Pokemon this card is attached to doesn't have a rule box, it gets plus 100 HP. And if it is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes one more prize card. Ah. So you get 100 HP, but they take an extra prize from it. Very high risk-reward ratio. That's really interesting. Oh, this Snorlax one is pretty cool. Snow Runt Reverse, Wug Trio Reverse, and a Zacian Hollow. Pokemon could really benefit from having some more high-risk, high-reward cards like that luxurious cape. The game just seriously lacks strategic depth compared to something like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic, and they could really use things like that that encourage good strategies. Nothing in that one. But when I was considering maybe I shouldn't even still open. Ooh, Tinkaton. That's fun. Maybe I should just stop opening entirely. So that, oh, that's normal. I thought it was reverse. There's the reverse. Ooh, reverse Screamtail and just a regular hollow Golisopod. I was thinking maybe I should just stop filming myself opening cards because it's a lot of work and may make it less fun even. But then I was like, and what if the time I don't record a video is the time I pull some crazy misprint or something that like, like, like sometimes people will pull completely blank energies or something or test cards. And it's like, you can't prove this is real unless you have a video of you pulling it out of the pack. So that's why I feel like maybe I need to be, keep recording just because what if I am that one in a million people who pulls that insane misprint thing or just something insanely rare and then I get to celebrate and I get to have proof of that. Starting it off with a Tinka Tink, Tanday, Mouse, Dwebble, Wismer, Rourke, Steeny, Semipore, Reverse Knacklestack, Reverse Panpore, and a Yveltal Hollow. Wow. This ETB has been lacking. We have the Aegislash Illustration Rare. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. And we've got one new Future and one new Ancient card. So Ancients are almost certainly going to win that battle. And it looks like the Roaring Moon ETB is going to win the Battle of the Two... Oh, whoops. I think that's a Roaring Moon back there. Um, oh, another Future Pokemon. Cool. Iron Muddle. I just really want to... Oh, there's a reverse. And, oh, reverse Tinkaton and Roaring Moon. Awesome. What was I saying? I don't want to regret opening this one. Because like I said, I was deciding, do I want to open both ETBs or just one? And keep one sealed because it's a Pokemon Center exclusive. It's going to hold a nice amount of sealed value. And I was like, I want to open them both. 
And the Dewblade Reverse. I do like Dewblade. Not a big fan of that art, though. Four packs left. What are we going to get? Come on. We need at least one more hit. For this ETB to even stand a chance compared to the Roaring Moon one, we need a good hit. And some more future Pokemon would be cool. Or some more ancient Pokemon, just to really solidify the ancient Pokemon are better. Whoa. Okay, that's a... Dewblade with a different art. I like this art way better. It seems like... Oh, whoa! Altaria EX Full Art. Okay, that's what I'm talking about when I say we need a big hit. Um, disgusting, disgusting yellow background for a blue Altaria. But I do like Altaria. Um, what was I? Yeah. So having multiple, like, different Pokemon... Like, like, this is... They have two different Dewblade cards, multiple different cards of the same Pokemon in a set. That's kind of always been a thing, but it seems like it's way more common with Scarlet and Violet. There's some sets where you'll get three copies of, like, you'll have three, um, something, like, common. Yeah. Well, this set alone has, yeah, it's got two different Dewblades, it's got two different Wiglets, like, it, they've definitely been ramping that up with these sets, and I don't know why. You have more Pokemon than ever. How many different uh, cards of the same Pokemon do you really need to put in a set? And it's always Prevos, when what we could really use is more EXs of different... Oh, Future Booster Energy Capsule. Uh, more... Uh, I could make a whole video about how they botched Terra cards, but, like... Terras only really work if you have an option like you do in the games. You cannot Terra, you cannot Terrastalize it, or you can Terrastalize it. So in this, if the only EX of a Pokemon is a Terra type, it defeats the purpose. You should have an EX of the Pokemon and a Terra EX card. And that's if you do the current system of Terra EXs and not just like an item that changes the Pokemon's type, which is what they should have done. Nothing there. I mean, it's Melodic, not nothing. Do like Melodic. But, last pack, last pack. Yeah, I just feel like when I open things on my own, I get to treasure the cards so much more. When I make a video, I'm just trying to zoom through it. So, I guess I'll have to keep the channel posted if I keep doing Pokemon stuff. Um, it's not like I care about views, but Pokemon is the only thing that brings in views. Or I just upload my crappy Halo clips that I do mostly ironically, because I know my... Oh, there's another Ancient... Whoa! Ancient Pokemon and a future Slitherwing and then Iron Moth. That's nice. So we got the Iron Moth Reverse. That looks really good. And we got the Reverse Latios. And what is behind it? Another Sarina EX. That is really interesting. We got two Sarina EX and two Roaring Moon EX. Now, from a collector's standpoint, I would rather have different cards. For, but from a deck builder standpoint, that really tempts me to make a Sarina EX deck. Roaring Moon EX. I just feel like the strategy is just kind of oppressive, and I don't know how much I enjoy playing it, but I will definitely be making a Sarina EX deck. Well, that is about everything. Let's do a quick recap. Thanks for sticking around this long, everybody. So, for the battle of the ancient versus the future Pokemon, we have four total future Pokemon. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total ancient Pokemon. So ancient Pokemon clapped cheeks in that one. And then to compare the hits, um, rarity wise, we can take the Roaring Moons out since we got one of those in each. So we got from the Roaring Moon box, we got oh, we got one of Sarina EX each, so we can take those out as well. So that makes things pretty simple, actually. It is the Joltic Illustration Rare and the Frostlass EX Full Art, or the Aegis Slash Illustration Rare and the Altaria EX Full Art. So rarity-wise, this one wins because Aegis Slash is rarer than Jolt. Oh, no, are they the same? Oh, they're actually the same rarity. Um... So yeah, they're the exact same rarity, but I like Aegislash by far the most out of any of these. I like Altaria as a Pokemon, although its card is ugly. Frostlass's card looks a little better, though not that great. Jolfix's card looks great, I'm just not nearly as big of a fan of it. So the Iron Valiant box 
wins because of this age slash illustration rare. Wow. I mean, that made it worth it. That made opening that box worth it because that is a sweet card. That's going to... Oh, and don't forget the promos as well. They're promos, so we don't really count them. But yeah, I like Scream Tail better. So that, that's a point in uh, Roaring Moon's favor. But Iron Bundle, still pretty. Thanks. See you guys.